This year's on-site seminar had to be held online, but that didn't stop the project team from creating an incredible schedule to teach students about the Sustainable Development Goals, but of course also provide an enriching cultural experience. The first week kicked off with a great introduction to Canada by Canada's ambassador to Switzerland and Liechtenstein, where we learned more about Canadian culture and all of its beautiful features. The cultural experience continued with first-hand insights about life in Canada and a meet and greet with the British Columbia Institute of Technology and Sheridan College. Besides cultural enrichments, we also learned lots about sustainability. For example, at the panel discussion on the vision and future of air travel, about possible sustainability implementations in that sector. Also through greenhouse gas and sustainability accounting presentation on how sustainability can be calculated and where there's room for improvements. Sustainable Development Goal 12 was brought into focus in a great networking and sustainability event organized by the Consulate General of Switzerland in Vancouver. We got to talk to inspiring entrepreneurs about sustainability and business and ask questions directly to the experts. To recap the first week, we asked the delegation a few questions about their learnings. What I like the most about Vancouver or Canada in general is that they are so similar to Switzerland regarding the culture. So if I ever want to go and work abroad without getting homesick, I would definitely choose Vancouver as my destination. I really like Vancouver. I mean, it's a nice city, then you have the beautiful mountains and the sea. There is so much to do and the people are nice. I mean, it's just one of my favorite cities. During my stay in Vancouver, my experience showed me that the Vancouver people are very polite and respectful. It would be nice if the Swiss could have the same high politeness level, even though we are already quite respectful. We learned a lot about life in Canada. But what impressed me most is the attitude towards work-life balance. I think we could implement that more in Switzerland so that people can be more self-responsible with their time management. Well, something I wish for Switzerland we learned in, in the Canada week is that we could have more social enterprises. You don't really have to have a, always an innovative and creative new product. You can also include some different uh, social classes to have a startup. I was most surprised by the presentation about greenhouse gas and sustainability accounting. It was interesting to hear a more holistic approach to the sustainability problems we are facing right now and how cities can contribute to solving them. So what was the most surprising in the first week was that we had the greenhouse accounting speech because I always knew that there is some more and the value chain is really important to have a sustainable product. but. This speech was really educational. I love to hear how Canada is doing so much to integrate immigrants to their culture and how open they are to foreigners. Um, in fact, we were informed that 50% of Canadians are immigrants. This whole week certainly introduced me to British Columbia and hopefully everyone will get the possibility to travel to Canada in the future and learn more about it outside from British Columbia or more about Vancouver itself. We certainly appreciate everything we learned and we look forward to the future to learn more.